Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Light Slacker, How You Doing? And Alter Ego, Gentle Benevolence. And Stamping Plate TU045. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2. And this is Light Slacker, her friend's collection. How You Doing? Cute, cute little bottles. Love that. Um, I believe they were all creams. I did get the whole collection. They will be popping up sporadically um, here and there until I get through them all. Uh, like the brush. You guys know I'm a brush snob, so I have to throw that out there. I do like the brush. The formula is really good. I think I'm trying to be a little skimpy and not putting enough polish on the brush, you know. Um, but here we go we got our first coat done all right so now we're going to do a second coat and i really did like this um i bought i guess this is the first time i bought lights lacquer i've got a bunch of kl polishes from you know the kathleen lights polishes Ooh, isn't that pretty all on its own here is Alter Ego, Gentle Benevolent, and we're going to top this, and it's going to totally change it, but, you know, we're playing, painting, having fun, um, but like I said, these are the first ones that I've gotten from Light Slacker, and hey, you guys know I can't pass up a Friends collection, Friends, Harry Potter, stuff like that, I can't say no, so we're going to top it now with some INMs out the door. And get it to dry down do some stamping and I really like this combo with the you know the bling test on top of the cream something a little wowzers like stuff like that so there we go you can see that just flashing and blinging all over I've got out TU 045 got some pretty pretty images on this one I'll be using the Fabio Nails Stamper today and Neon Blue Sticky Stampin' Polish from She Modern and my H. La Costa Door Scraper. So we're just going to get busy and just start playing and stamping and, you know, playing. <laughs> so I picked the Stamping Blue Polish because I thought it would kind of work well with that the blue flash that's coming off of that topper from Alter Ego. I do clean my stamper off on a lint roller and the plate's getting cleaned with pure acetone. And here we go. We're going to get some of these little flowers down here. I thought they were really cute. I'm going to use a little piece of tape to get that little bit that I don't want on my nail or skin line that up and then we're going to do another one so I just wanted to play with this you know just have fun with it play with it because to me that's what it's all about y'all it's my hobby it's my passion it's my fun and I just share it with you <laughs> And I like these little TU plates. They've got some really cute images on them. When I pull them out, it's I'm hard-pressed. I'm like, oh, I want to use this one and that one and all of them. Because, you know, us junkies, we want to use all the things. All the things. <laughs> and I'm really liking how this is turning out. That's cute. That's some cute stuffs. And I know using this stamper, it doesn't get as good camera angles and all that, but, uh, you know, I, I'm really trying to use things in my collection. Polishes, stamping plates, stampers. I'm trying to use all the things that I own um, because if I'm not going to use them, I don't need to keep them. So, um, trying to work my way through. You guys will be seeing all kinds of stuff. Now you can't see, you've got time to clean your, if you forget to clean your stamper off, you've got time to do that with these She Modern Sticky Stampin' Polishes. You can scrape it, let it sit there for a second or two. No big deal. 
There we go. Very pretty. And one more little flower for that pinky nail. Uh, that sticky stamping polish is amazing. I wish they'd have had that when I was first trying to stamp, when I was first trying to learn how to do it. Because you do not have to rush. You can totally take your time. All right. So now that we're done stamping, I'm going to clean this plate off. I'm using a lint-free wipe to wipe over it after I get it cleaned with the acetone. And here, more cleanup, except this time on my skin. And get some of that off of there and now we're going to go in with the cleanup brush this is the IMK cleanup brush and some acetone and I am getting used to it like I said anytime you change your tools what you're using there is a learning curve so I do like it all right so now that that is all cleaned up we're going to put Top these off with some of the smudge free top coat from Maniology. And once that's dry, I'll be covering all of it with the Posh top coat. This is the glossy quick dry top coat. And this is what's going to make manicure last long. Uh oh. Hi, Woody. How you doing? And here is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.